welcome to an all new Lay It Omni. Allow me to lay it on you. So I'm sure most of you heard about the news that a new vaccine for COVID is in development, but some of you might not actually know what that means and how it applies to you and what you can do with that knowledge. After all, you've probably seen articles in the science field that talk about things like discoveries and cures for AIDS or HIV or cancer, but they figured out how to clone food or I don't know, you heard something crazy, right? That suggests that something is on the way in the medical field and then later it died off and nothing came from it. So guys, in this video, I want to do two things for you, okay? Number one, I want to explain to you what the news about the COVID vaccine update means in detail tell as opposed to the vague headlines and potential fake news feeding you false information. I've told you guys this before, but I am a CPA, aka a certified public accountant, and I've actually audited an investment company whose portfolio contained medical companies similar to the ones you've been hearing, Pfizer and BioNTech. So I understand the underlying message that's being said here. And also number two, I want to explain to you guys the ramifications of this announcement and what it means for our economy, including things like stocks and how it affects industries, which then affects you. For example, if you weren't where stonks went up by a large margin yesterday due to both the news of Biden winning the election and the news of the vaccine. Investors and people with money are getting ready to shift their focus into different areas, and if you're interested in how that decision-making process works, then I'll softly and generally explain to you guys what's happening, and maybe you can take advantage of this knowledge for your own investment purposes. So I'll skip the introduction, let's talk about the vaccine. Right off the bat, you need to know that the vaccine is not a cure, okay? The vaccine prevents diseases from happening in the first place. A cure removes the disease once it's taken place. I know this seems like common sense for some of you, but you'd be surprised how many people use the words vaccine and cure interchangeably in this situation. Now, there are two medical corporations at play here. There's Pfizer and there's BioNTech. They've been currently focusing on developing a vaccine for COVID-19. BioNTech is a smaller company that focuses on the development, like they're the backbone and the people who do the majority of the work and research. Pfizer is a major drug company that will sell it. The drama around this is that people have been arguing about the naming of the vaccine. Since it appears that the name is starting to be called the Pfizer vaccine as the official name, although BioNTech did the majority of the research. Personally, Pfizer just rolls off the tongue better than BioNTech vaccine, but that's just me. Now, it requires a very large amount of money to fund this research. Because of this, most of these companies are funded by investment companies or mutual funds. Basically, imagine if you had $1 million. You could choose to give $1 million to Pfizer or BioNTech to help aid in their research. In exchange, you get a small percentage of ownership in their company. Depending on how well the companies do, that $1 million could be worth $2 million if the company does well. It could also be half and be worth 500,000 if it doesn't do well. That basically explains how investment funds work and how it affects companies like Pfizer and BioNTech. However, drama around this concept is revolved around the fact that Vice President Mike Pence claimed that Pfizer was part of the US-based funding program for vaccines in order to basically take credit for the results. Pfizer themselves denied this and basically said they purposely didn't accept government funding in order to avoid a situation like this. Cool, now the next word that you need to understand is the word efficacy, which translates to the ability to produce a desired or intended result. Basically, efficacy is used to measure the effectiveness of the vaccine. What you guys need to understand is the actual vaccine itself is not ready. An early analysis and testing of the substance showed that candidates were 90% effective at preventing the infection. The actual results and details of the work, however, aren't available to the public. This basically means that you should be cautiously optimistic. The thing is that there have been many times when drug companies come out with great news about a vaccine or drug or cure that didn't actually lead to tangible results, but it is still good as it appears to show progress toward eventually creating a vaccine. Bio companies like Pfizer and BioNTech do research in phases and usually on a quarterly basis give the results of their research research, which then dictates whether or not investors want to continue working with the research companies. Lastly, and this is politics, but it's important to know, but Trump is trying to take credit for the vaccine while also insisting the news of the vaccine was announced after the election to sway voters into not voting for Trump. I don't think anyone has full-on proof of this being intentional, but personally, I do agree that the timing is ideal for Biden and not so ideal for Trump. If the news of this development occurred before the election, votes could have potentially swung in a different direction. So that's it. That's all you need to know about the COVID vaccine update and what it means and why people are talking about it and how politicians are trying to use it to push their own agendas. Personally, I feel this is really good news because I was just talking about how it feels like we're going to be stuck inside forever. However, like I said before, I've audited investment companies that have a stake in the biomedical field. This kind of information is good news, but it is very, very early phase announcement. I've seen situations where news similar to this was announced and a vaccine or a cure or a drug wasn't actually created until years later. Furthermore, the creation of the vaccine is only one step. The distribution of the vaccine to every 
everyone is also a really huge hurdle that takes a very long lengthy time to establish. What this means guys is that the news could mean a vaccine could be available by as early as spring or summer of 2021. It could also mean that it ain't coming out until two to three years later from now if at all. However, people who benefit from the vaccine coming into place will 100% tell you guys that the vaccine is coming and it's coming soon and it's happening and giving you all this positive reinforcement you can get because this influences the general public aka the economy and how the market is going to respond. So guys, let's pivot to the economy and money ramifications and how this applies to you, okay? I told you guys earlier that this news had an impact on the stock market and here's why. The idea of a vaccine coming into place means that industries like housing, hotels, airports, anything that's basically been falling or hurting due to the pandemic is receiving optimistic hope that their businesses will be able to start thriving again. I'll use my own personal stocks as an example. Right now, I currently have stocks in a REIT, which is also known as a real estate investment trust. A real estate investment trust basically manages real estate such as apartments and commercial buildings and hotels, etc. And that industry has been hurting greatly due to the pandemic because people are staying at home, they're working from home, and with massive layoffs, not being able to afford the price of rent. So all of these real estate companies are hurting right now. If they're not out of business, they're struggling to simply stay alive by doing massive layoffs and reducing their expenses as much as possible. Their goal is to survive this pandemic until the vaccine arrives and people can start traveling again. So if you own stocks in one of these companies now before the announcement, more than likely the stock price of those companies have gone up due to the optimistic news about the vaccine. Investors are trying to predict which industries are going to do well and which industries are going to fall off. That way they can move their money in and out of said industry so they can maximize their gains and minimize their losses. So here's an example that a five-year-old can understand. Under the pandemic, the company known as Zoom started booming. People cannot go to work. So they have to do video conferencing. If you had money in Zoom stocks before the pandemic, your money could have went up five times the amount that you had in there. AKA, if you had $1,000 worth of stocks, it would now be worth 5,000. The same applies vice versa. If you had $1,000 in a hotel or airline industry, your stock is probably worth doo-doo. Announcements that say that the pandemic might be lifted create the opposite effect. People are trying to get ahead of the curve and use public opinion to sway the market. So now, if you have Zoom stocks, you'll notice that they have plummeted. In fact, Zoom stock prices dropped nearly 20% due to the news of the vaccine. So you guys get it, right? Okay, that's the basic stock lesson combined with how the world's outlook on the economy can impact your investments. If you understand the economy, the climate, what's to be expected, you can make smarter decisions on your investments. It's not a 100% for sure thing, but let's just say if you knew that the vaccine was 100% being released tomorrow, which is known as insider trading, but if you knew that, you would not put your money in Zoom. Instead, you would throw it into a stock that has an inverse, aka opposite relationship of companies like Zoom that are benefited from the pandemic being present. You guys get it? You got it? it. Good. Anyway, that's all I have for this episode of Lay It Omni. You've just been laid. Moral of the story, the COVID news is good news, but nobody really knows how long we'll be waiting. And if they say they know, they're lying to you, so don't be fooled. But yeah, I hope this was informative for you guys to understand what's happening and all the details around the vaccine and the economy. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if I was able to explain it to you in a way that, you know, you guys can understand. You guys said you wanted me to talk more about, you know, like money and investing and things of that nature. So yeah, here it is. <laughs> if you guys learned anything from this, okay, drop a like to let me know that I did okay. I'm Audi. I don't want to stress this video any longer. I have a feeling it's going to be a long one. It's kind of what happens when I start getting into my nerd talk. But yeah, do me a solid and subscribe for daily uploads, okay? We're trying to reach 200,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you guys subscribe, that would be really freaking awesome, okay? I'll keep hitting you guys up with those trending events and tips and tricks to save money and abuse the tax system and, you know, not get got and stay up on that financial knowledge. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good one. Take it easy.